In this video, I'm going to demonstrate doing a reconciliation in WAVE apps. You can find this by going to Accounting on the left and clicking on Reconciliation. So reconciliation is simply comparing what's on your bank or credit card statement with what you have in the software. So once you come to the screen, you're just going to find whichever account you want to reconcile and I'm going to reconcile this credit card and I would just click on get started and it's telling me to grab my statement and I'm going to click on start reconciling and right here is where I would put whatever is on my statement so I would put the ending date of the statement and the amount And then once I have that information in, I can just click on save. And that's going to bring me to the screen right here. It's going to show my statement balance at the top, which I can click on this pencil icon if I want to change that or change the date. And then it tells me what the balance in the software is on that same day and what the difference is. So obviously here I have a difference and I have to figure out why. So what I would do is look at my statement and compare to here. And you can see that there's this column for matched transactions. So anything that is on the statement and also in here, I could just check off. And it does give you instructions up here. If you hold your cursor over the word matched, it does tell you that. Now in Wave apps, it's a little different than other accounting softwares because you don't actually have to check the box. Well, it's not really a box, it's a circle, but you don't actually have to check this because it is actually gonna reconcile even if you don't check the little circles. However, it does make it easier because I'm just going through the statement, looking for transactions that are on the statement and checking it off as I go. And then that will help me narrow down what mistakes are on here. So I get to the end and I realize that there's a duplicate. This $75 meal is on here twice. There's a couple different ways to fix this. I can either delete this extra transaction or I can click on both transactions and merge them. Either way is fine, but if you think there's data in one transaction over the other, like for example, if you think there might be a receipt attached to one of them and you're not sure which one, then it's probably better to merge them. However, this is just a sample company. This is fake data, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to delete the second one. Okay, and then I still have a difference. So I would continue to look at my statement and try to figure out where the other difference is coming from. And let's just say I look at my statement and I realize that there is an expense on the statement that is not in WAVE. So I can just add that transaction right here. It does pre-fill to the statement date but I can change this date. I would want to make sure that I choose either deposit or withdrawal. In this case, it's an interest expense, so it's a withdrawal. And then I would put in the amount and the category. And that's it. I could add extra notes if I wanted to, but I don't have to. And I can do a split if there's more than one category. So I would just save. And this pop-up comes up to say that this period has been reconciled. I can either move forward to reconcile the next statement or I can click on X and stay in the screen. And then if I want to come out of the screen, I can just click on this little left arrow right here. And you can see that it tells me that this credit card has been reconciled through June 23rd, 2023. If I need to go back and redo something, I can just hover over this little green check 
and I can click here and I can delete. Or I can reconcile the next period or any other statement. And before I end the video, I just want to point out a couple things real quick. First of all, you can toggle this arrow here to get to the previous reconciliations. And I'm just going to click on this little green check and it takes me back into the reconciliation itself if I need to go back. And then I also want to point out that occasionally you'll have situations where the transaction date is on a different day than the post date, especially on credit card statements. So I just want to point out that you can change the date of a transaction if it happens to fall in a different statement period. It's fine to just change the date and put it into the next credit card period. If I do that, it is going to give me a pop-up that I'm moving it out of the reconciliation period. So I just wanted to point that out, that that is something that may come up when you are doing your reconciliations. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and otherwise, thank you for watching.